Um, tell us a little bit about the new version of Foursquare that launched right before South by Southwest. What's the, what's the main takeaway from that? Yeah, it's, um, I don't know, it's the thing that we've been trying to do for, for years now. Like, did you guys, has anyone downloaded it? Did you guys downloaded it, right? Yeah, it's pretty good, right? It's, like, I'm pretty psyched about it. You know, we always talk about like, making cities easier to use, making e neighborhoods easier to use. We really want to you know, build these tools that kind of bridge the gap between what you experience online and how do you take that offline. You know, it was me and Pete Cashmore just kind of going back and kind of grilled me on a whole bunch of stuff, everything from like, what's the future of Foursquare to the future of the product to you know, what are we going to do about monetization. Um, it was a good conversation. I think the thing that's important for us is that we're able to um, you know, just really tell a different story about Foursquare. Like for a lot of people, it's been games about check-ins, and that, that's great. But like, we're trying to do something much larger. This big data play about things that are going on in the real world and connecting people to things in the real world. And you know, we got to tell that story. We got to tell it from a lot of different angles today, and I think it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. If we can use some of the check-in data and present you with interesting options, interesting things that we think you would like, and then couple it with game mechanics and encourage you to do them, like that's like a really interesting like one-two punch, like getting people out in the real world doing more interesting things. Is this a move away from check-ins in any sense? I I don't want to say it's a move away, but it's just, you know, it's, it's just flexing our vision for the product a little bit, right? Okay. So I was live tweeting like everybody else was, um, and one of the biggest things I got out of it was how passionate he was, Dennis was, um, within the first like five minutes of him talking. It was just exuding passion for what they were doing and how it was all about the people and, and making it better for people to do things and inspiring people to go to the gym more and go to museums more because now you can get a badge. What is the one thing that you do better than everyone else that nobody will ever do better? I think it's, you know, it's going back to the, the core vision of the product. It's like, let's make cities easier to use. Let's make the world easier to explore, right? Okay, but other people are doing that. I mean, you can do it So what, well. what you makes us better at doing places. it? What's the, what's the core thing that's defensible about face, about force? I don't know. I think it's just like the experience and the stuff that we're, we're doing. Like, I think it, you get to a point at which, you know, scale is on your side and everyone's checking in on Foursquare. So it's network effect? It could, yeah, network effect is one of them. You know, I think it's a, having a better place database, having a really kind of interesting place database is, is another one of those. It's like understanding how the game mechanics work and not trying to like over game things, but you know, just making it enough so it's fun and kind of interesting and playful. That we're really doubling down on our venue API so that all the stuff that we're creating for the product can be used by other people in the outside world, all the third party developers. Um, and specifically, we're trying to go after this bit of like venue harmonization, like taking all the venue IDs from all the different services and having one place to put them so that you know, other developers can take advantage of that stuff.